You are watching Ubuntu Boot Camp Part 8, and in this episode, we're going to play with Unity Lenses, and we're going to do that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. did was I went on Mr. Google and I did a little search on some of the lenses that were available and I was surprised at what I was able to find. Uh, now askubuntu.com has a list of sorts here and this link will be in the show notes for you guys on the different lenses that you can get for this thing. Now uh, one of the lenses that may ship with Ubuntu if you're using a version later than this one which is 1204, the LTS, uh, you may have an Amazon lens. And there's been a lot of FUD and uh, a bunch of people that really don't care for it. But myself, as a as a uh, Amazon shopper, I happen to uh, like being able to be given search information from Amazon when I'm shopping there. I don't shop there all the time, so I don't want to be getting those results. Well, then you can go in the Synaptic Package Manager and actually remove that. Matter of fact, we haven't installed Synaptic. So let's go ahead here. I'd like to check and make sure this doesn't have it. Okay, we don't have Synaptic installed. So we need to issue that in a terminal. So Control-Alt-T for Terminal. sudo apt get install synaptic I happen to like using the synaptic package manager not only for installing and removing programs but I also use it for updating my computer now uh, as many of you know I'm running Linux Lite and I don't have anything to notify me when there are updates coming in. I just run Synaptic once a day, and I'll have it pull and check for uh, any updates. Um, I also have PackApt, which uh, allows me to issue Pacman-like commands into the terminal, and then, um, <laughs> you know, do updates and that sort of thing. So it's like once a day I run Pac-Man SYU. <laughs> I'll have to show you guys that one. That's a pretty cool one in another episode. Synaptic has finished installing now. And let's have a look and see what kind of lenses we can get in Synaptic. So let's just do a search for lens. You can have the uh, Unity lens for Ask Ubuntu. That's always cool, because that's where I got the information on the lenses. You have a Gwibber lens that can be added. A GIMP lens. Ah, you can get a lens, lens for the uh, Wikipedia. That's kind of cool, because I use the Wikipedia all the time. A lens for the GitHub. But if you have the Amazon lens in this listing, and you show that as being installed, you can actually un uninstall it from here just by, let's say, right-clicking on one of them and then just select Mark for Complete Removal, and that'll take it out for you. But I'm not even showing that as an option. So you could, you know, mark a given lens for complete for removal or for complete removal, just like that. Okay, very good. Uh, don't really need Gwibber, but um, the Ask Ubuntu, that's kind of cool. Let me close this here now. Okay. All right, but at any rate, we do have some lenses that are available to us. Okay, we have the Ask Ubuntu lens. We have a dash-based calculator. 
and these are the commands that you would issue into the terminal to be able to get this functionality added. Got Google Books, Ubuntu CityScope, Pirate Bay. <laughs> you wouldn't be downloaded anywheres, would you? No, 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 that's a no, no. <laughs> The Wikipedia lens, which of course we didn't have to add because we actually had that in Synaptic. The uh, recall lens. The YouTube scope and lens. Oh, this might be cool. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's press Control Alt T for the terminal. You know, and I like to have my terminal match my desktop. That just bothers me. So let's go ahead and do this here. We're going to, uh, ah, here we go. Edit, Profiles, and the default, we're going to edit that. Colors, Background Color. And the text color. Much better. There, I'm happier with that. Okay. All right, so let's add that YouTube lens here. We're going to copy some lines of text here. Okay, and then we will issue this next command. And while that's downloading, let's take a look at some of the other ones that you can get. There's a Music Lens, a Google Docs Lens, Web Sources, Tomboy, for those of you who use that, Unity Graphic Design Lens, Wibber again, Unity Web History Lens. Oh, it asks me if I want to continue. Of course I want to continue. Continue! Continue! All right, let's see what else we got here. A Reddit Lens. DuckDuckGo. The Unity Calendar Lens. Ah! The Adult and Porno <laughs> Lens. <laughs> For all you dirty birdies out there. <laughs> Say, there was some rumor going around that, Lens, that, that, that uh, Linux is only good for hacking and pornography. Well, there's your proof right here. <laughs> all right, and then, of course, you have a secure shell search lens. A cooking lens. The Unity Dictionary Lens, a Groove Shark Lens, a Binary Clock Lens, a Unity Bliss Lens, a Spotify Lens, News, Pigeon, Stargazers, Ooh. a Radio Lens, hey! That might be useful. And um, there's another page of these. I didn't even realize we have another page of them. Wow. If that wasn't enough already. UUDE lens. Whatever that is, I have no idea. A Google Play lens. That makes sense. I spend a lot of money on Google Play, so that would be cool to have that. All right. An academic 
lens, a Rotten Tomato scope, cool deal. Hey, they've got one for Skype. How do you like that, huh? One for uh, RuneScape, Wiki. And I guess they just keep adding more and more onto this. Okay, now for any lenses that you install, we're going to have to log out and log back in in order to be able to use them. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now that we are logged back in, uh, let's see what the uh, YouTube dash or um, any of the, you know, if anything comes up as a result of using this. First, I'm just going to type in my name. And in the Unity Lens, we get it to crash when we search for Spatry, but you can see <laughs> I have some listings here. Um, from YouTube. But it looks like the YouTube lens is a little bit buggy. But that's a cool thing. We do have the extra lenses, and of course you can get many more of them that you can uh, download, install, and play with. And I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do in the next episode, so you're just going to have to stick around and find out what I decide to do. I'm out of here. Mm -hmm.